to let you know about a new show. It is going to be called The Face, a reality competition series hosted by the former American Next Top Model, fashion photographer and judge, Nigel Barker. A competition for female aspiring models to become the face of Ulta Beauty. And during the show, they will be coached by three supermodels, Naomi Campbell, Carolina Korkova and Coco Rocha. So there will be three teams on the show. Team Naomi, Team Carolina and Team Coco. I really anticipate a lot of cat fights and a lot of drama. So it should be quite fun to watch. So the models are going to be competing in challenges and castings just like a regular model will do in real life. So this will be really, really exciting. I'd love to see how the show is going to turn out. So in preparation for the show, I decided to do a makeup tutorial inspired by one of the supermodels. Why did the Naomi Campbell inspired look? So she isn't famous for her bright and bold type makeup looks. I will be doing one of her signature looks which she's had on one of the red carpet events. So this is the look I'm going for today. It's going to be a simple smoky eye with neutral lips. So if you want to see how I got this Naomi Campbell inspired makeup, keep on watching and don't forget to catch the face on Oxygen on February the 12th at 9pm. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! First I'm starting with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just going to apply this to my eye. This is going to help my eyeshadows last longer and also become more vibrant. Then taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean, I'm going to apply this to my lid. This is acting as my base, so I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow on top of this Jumbo Pencil. From the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I am taking this black eyeshadow, and this is called Blackout, and I'm just using an eyeshadow brush to apply this. Taking my Wet n Wild Vanity palette, I'm going in with this brown shade here. If you have matte and dark eyeshadow, it's exactly the same. So I'm just going to use a um, tape blending brush and I'm just going to apply that over that black that I've already added on my crease. I'm just going to go directly above that black shade and apply the brown. I'm then going to add a lighter brown and taking matte Swiss chocolate with another blending brush. So this is just going to go on top of the dark brown shade, giving like a gradient so it's moving from dark black to dark brown to light brown. If you feel like you've lost some of the shade, you can definitely go back and add some more. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going back into the Vanity palette and taking this sort of shimmery, um, it has a bit of a sheen to it, it's like a beige colour. Naomi normally has something in, you know, in her tear duct area, so I'm just going to go back into that same palette and the same shade that I used in my brow bone highlight. I'm taking this short shader brush and I'm just going to apply that to my tear duct, just the inner part of my tear ducts. And just slightly my inner part of my eye. I'm then going to line my top and bottom lash line. I'm just using this pencil. This is by Emiway. And it's just a really nice jet black pencil. You can use any pencil of your choice. Now I'm going to apply my lashes and my mascara. I'm taking the Red Cherry Lashes in 43. And they just look like these and I'm just going to apply that off camera and I'll be right back. I'm going to apply the brown eyeshadow onto my bottom lash line and just smudge it out. I'm just going to apply a little bit of my mascara. So 
So Naomi has a bright under eye, she's also highlighted a little bit. So I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to apply that to my under eye and also down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to contour my cheekbones and my nose using the Sleek Face Contour Kit and the Real Techniques Contour Brush. So for her blush, she looks like she has like a peachy brown shade, quite neutral. So I'm going to be taking Speaks Blush in Sahara and using the e.l.f. blush brush. Also her lips are quite neutral, so I'm going to take the MAC Lip Pencil in Cork. And I'm just going to outline the outer corner of my lip. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in New Truffle. Then for my lipstick, I've taken the Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in blush. Which looks like this, it's a really nice nude with a hint of pink. And then just adding a bit of gloss to my lips, I'm taking the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Natural. 